Hey, welcome to our channel. I'm Gordon. And I'm Alice. And we're roaming with the Ramses. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the like, ring that bell, so you'll get notified every time we upload new content. Today, we're jumping into the big debate. <laughs> Travel trailer versus fifth wheel. Right. Now, this debate's been going on for years. Yes. There's a lot of people out there talking about it. Absolutely. And one thing I can say is there's no <laughs> right answer for everybody. There's only a right answer for you. Right. So make sure that you do your research, which if you're watching this video, that means you are. It must be. So let's get started with travel trailers first because that's where we started was with a travel trailer. Absolutely. First what we'll do is we'll talk about some pros and then we're going to go to some cons and then we'll move on to the fifth wheel. Okay. Our very first pro for travel trailers size size they come in so many different sizes and so many different configurations itty bitty itty it's a bitty. great big <laughs> yep i agree and you got your little teardrops and you've got your 30 plus foot tow behind trailers so many sizes many options and you can find something in that category that fits you yep Lots of different floor plans and everything. So layouts, manufacturers. Yeah. Every every manufacturer has their own floor plans that are a little bit similar to others, but there's a wide variety of travel trailers out there. So have you have fun a lot trying of to options, find the one that you like, <laughs> right? Probably one of the biggest reason people buy travel trailers over fifth wheels, the cost. Mm -hmm. I mean, travel trailers. Like we said before, from the itty bitty ones to the bigger ones, same thing with the number on the on the price tag. Right. So that's what you can afford. So. Right. So you always are going to save money when it comes to buying a travel trailer over a fifth wheel, just because the starting costs are that far apart. Might not even have to buy a new vehicle. Shucks. You're going travel trailer, you might be able to find a travel trailer you can tow with the vehicle you have now. Mm -hmm. Whether you have a small SUV and you get the little bitty teardrop, <laughs> or whether you have maybe a half ton pickup truck, yep. you know, that you have a wide range of options there. So you may not have to invest in a new vehicle at the same time when you invest in a travel trailer. Travel trailers you can usually take just about anywhere. Yeah. You can fit them in a lot of state parks. You can go boondocking on the riverbanks. We've done that ourselves. Uh, so, you know, depending on the size that you right. decide is right for you is where you can take it. If you buy something the size of a teardrop, you can take that thing almost anywhere. Imagine the places that you I mean, can go. So if your passion is boondocking and getting way off the grid that little bitty trailer is yeah. perfect for you and think about going on the smaller side so i think before you even decide what size of a trailer that you want you should decide where do you want to go and what do you want to do and that's going to help make the decisions what on how big of a trailer you buy what kind of camper are you going to be i mean really it, that's what it all comes down to what kind of camper are you going to be are you going to be state parks, national parks, boondocker, RV parks, all those places? It makes a big difference. Right. When Alice and I were talking about buying this big fifth wheel, we were like, well, we're full-time living. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to be spending most of our time in RV parks and less out in the boonies. Mm -hmm. So going with a bigger trailer was not going to be a negative for us to prevent us from going to places that we absolutely felt like we had to go. But that was a decision that we made before we made the purchase also. Right. Because we wouldn't make a decision like that without thinking what kind of camper we're going to be. Exactly. So you really have to think about that. Yeah. Because um, you want to buy a trailer that fits your passion. Yeah. Not the other way around. You know, if your passion is really getting on remote roads... 20 miles, 30 miles, 50 miles down a dirt road that winds and yeah. goes all over the place. Then you need to get a trailer that's going to get a trailer for that. that. Right, because they do make those type of trailers too. Absolutely. So the last pro that we're going to talk about today is the bed of the pickup truck. 
If you choose to go with a travel trailer, mm -hmm. you don't lose the bed of your pickup truck to a fifth wheel hitch. Yep. And that can be big. It's a lot of storage, especially if you do like what we did. And we had a cap on our truck, and so that even opens you up for even more storage in order to keep, make sure that all your belongings right. stayed safe, clean, dry, or, or whatever. So think about all the various things that you may or may not want to take with you that you might have to transport in the bed of a pickup truck or something like that. And is there a way to transport it on a fifth okay. wheel? I think the biggest con right up front is just space. Yeah. You know, in general, there's less space in a travel trailer than there is in a fifth wheel. Um, and that's just based on the overall general design. Right. I mean, yeah. travel trailers are shorter, therefore the interior space is not as high. Um, a lot of them don't have the under. Don't have a under, the under storage, storage compartments. Uh, just because they're shorter. Right. So. So I mean, all in all, less space, which, to me, typically equals less comfort. Right. Well, it depends. It I mean, does. if you're just a weekend warrior, a weekend camper the space may not be as important as if you are a full-time RVer, you know, where you need that space. So what are you going to use your trailer for? Is that a pro for you or is that a con for you? For us, it was definitely a con when we decided to go full-time, but when we were just doing our weekend camping in Alaska, we didn't have a problem with it. Very true. Overall, travel trailers just have less amenities. They have a smaller refrigerator for one thing. And oh. you know what that means. <laughs> Less food. Less food. So, <laughs> More trips to the grocery store. <laughs> exactly. When we first went full time in our trailer, we found ourselves going to the grocery store a lot. A lot. And what happens when you go to the grocery store? You spend more money. Exactly. <laughs> so if you're going to the grocery store every other week versus a couple times a week, you save money just by having a bigger refrigerator. Yeah. I mean, it, because how many times have you gone to the grocery store with a list of like five items. And ended up with ten? Right. Every time. So, I mean, <laughs> keep yeah. that in mind. The amenities overall in a travel yeah. trailer are smaller, like the refrigerators. The sinks are smaller. The stoves are smaller. The microwaves are smaller. Our last travel trailer had a corner shower unit in the bathroom. Where you barely could be fitting could, into it without bumping your elbows. Right? So, travel trailers just don't tow as well as a fifth wheel. I don't think you'll find anybody who says that their travel trailer tows better than a fifth wheel. Now there has been a lot of advancement in technology with sway control and all of that in hitches. Mm -hmm. There are some really good hitches out there. Hensley hitch is one of them, but that's pretty expensive. You can invest like three grand on one of those hitches to help. And it's still not going to be quite as good as the way a fifth wheel tows. So now let's talk fifth wheels. Let's do. Now, obviously, <laughs> somebody really loves the fifth wheel. Absolutely. But, I mean, <laughs> number one is the living space. It's yes. huge. It's huge. Of course, you know, I've been in some friends that had a smaller fifth wheel than what we have. And they still have a lot of room. Right. And when know? we when we looked on the dealership, we didn't, yeah. we didn't go directly to a 41-foot trailer. No. Uh, if you watch the video, I'll link it above, of when we were at the at the yard that day looking at trailers. We looked at every fifth wheel every they had. Every fifth wheel. Every manufacturer. We did not walk in with any one specific thing in mind no. other than fifth wheel. Um, they're all just much bigger. Right. You know, they yeah. are built taller, so you have more head space. And like the ceilings in our trailer down in the kitchen area are probably 10 feet tall. Yeah, I have to like get on the counter in order to clean the ceiling fan because it's just that tall. Uh, so that you've got a lot of headroom, you've got a lot of elbow room, uh, just a lot of space. Right. For my favorite part, the storage. <laughs> There's a lot more storage in a fifth wheel. Yes, uh, when, when we had our tow behind, um, we had a lot of stuff stored in the back end of the pickup truck under the cap. Um, we have, when we moved to this trailer here, uh, we still have a lot of room that is not being used in the storage compartment. The reason why you have so much storage is just because you have that taller 
trailer and so you have a lot of outside storage to put a lot of that stuff in and so the storage in a fifth wheel is huge massive i mean <sighs> even if you don't buy a trailer as big as the one that we bought the storage abilities that these fifth wheels have is just amazing so losing the back end of your truck to a hitch is not so bad right. because you gain so much more space yeah. we talked about the amenities being a con for travel trailers it's a pro for fifth wheels absolutely i mean when we bought the fifth wheel seems like everything was an upgrade yes you know it I mean, was and the refrigerator is like i don't know what three times the size of what we had right? before um so you're not having to go to the grocery store as often often and so you save money because you're not going to the grocery store um our pantry has more room in it than what we had I mean, before we had just like half of a cabinet for our pantry <laughs> so it seems like you're always going to the grocery store so you're always spending money and you know just buying that larger trailer with the more storage is a big savings right and you know, you know our stove was better in our new trailer i burnt everything before yeah, i mean I've not burnt anything we can, yet <laughs> can actually cook in this stove in this trailer we couldn't cook in the one before no i'd burn i mean my biscuits i'd have to flip over right. have you ever had to turn biscuits i had to flip my biscuits over and t turn them around all the time just to keep them from burning so this stove Oh my gosh, yeah, the, I haven't burnt a thing. So you'll find that the amenities that you get with the fifth wheel typically are just going to be better. Mm -hmm. Not just bigger, but better. But better. I mean, a, a yeah. better quality stove, better quality refrigerator, you know, larger counters, you know, all kinds of stuff. That's not to say that better. a lot. some of the higher end travel trailers don't have nice amenities, but typically your fifth wheels are going to have those nicer amenities in them so fifth wheel trailers they're just easier to tow it's that simple that's his department i've only drove once <laughs> but she has drove i mean she's driven the truck and pulled this trailer down the road at 65 miles an hour mm -hmm. it's that stable and it's, that's not anything was... about her driving but her very first time she had no problems. That was very, very it, easy. It's not affected by the wind as much. It's easier to make corners. It's just a much more stable platform for towing. Right. Um, and all of that is, again, it's all about the hitch location and the weight. And it becomes more like a part of your vehicle than something you're dragging behind your vehicle. Yeah, you can't really feel that it's even back there. I mean, it's it's just so smooth. And you notice it at the starts and the stops. You know, it takes a little bit longer to accelerate. It takes a little bit longer to stop. But all in all, once you're moving, you don't hardly know it's there. Yeah. So towing is a huge plus. Onboard generators. Cheers to onboard generators. <laughs> onboard generators are awesome. Most fifth wheels either have an onboard generator or have a place that you can put an onboard generator. Now, for me, that's a huge plus because our travel trailer, I had two portable generators. That way, when we were off grid, I could power our trailer when I needed to or start the generators to recharge batteries. But each generator was like 49 pounds. They were heavy. So you got to pick it up and move it. Then you got to find a place that you can lock it because you don't want somebody stealing it when you're not at your campground. <laughs> you know, the investment's not that bad. You can get one for like 500 bucks. Yeah. Um, Yamaha makes a good one. There's a lot of good ones out there. Um, I went with two because to buy one generator that could power everything, it was over a hundred pounds. So that means a hundred pounds of something I got to lift to put in the back of my truck to travel somewhere. Then I got to lift it out of my truck to plug it in. I didn't want to deal with all that. And then when we bought this one and he told me that you all you have to do is push this button and your generator starts, I was like, say what? So then I showed her. <laughs> so onboard generator, huge. Huge. Um, it allows us to camp off grid and recharge our batteries 
We haven't done much boondocking, but we have Not done. Yet. We have done some parking lot camping. We have. And when you're in those parking lots and you want to watch TV or run your air conditioner, having that onboard generator is a big deal. Right. Well, so since we already talked about the pros, let's talk about some of the cons. You know, There's a con? There is. This? There is a con. <laughs> and I think probably for me, the biggest one is the cost of ownership. Yeah. I mean, flat out, fifth wheels are expensive much more expensive than a travel trailer and depending on what you have for a vehicle you gotta buy a vehicle you might too. You have to upgrade your vehicle. You know luckily for us I had upgraded our vehicle a couple years before we invested in a fifth wheel so it wasn't a double whammy at right. the same time. Right. I already owned the truck so now I was just having to pay for the extra cost of the trailer. Right. So we talked about it as a pro. There's kind of also a con. Mm -hmm. That's the overall size. Right. So you have to think about things like height and length. Now, I never thought about how tall this was or how tall that was when I was towing my travel trailer. Gas stations. You know, I mean, most gas stations have the canopies over the top of them. I never even gave it a second thought. Um, but with a fifth wheel, you know, my fifth wheel is 13 feet 4 inches is what the manufacturer says. So when you're looking at a bridge that says 13 feet 6 inches, Ooh, glowing the Glacier like National the Park. one going into Glacier <laughs> National Park, you really have a little bit of thought process there. Am I really going to fit under it? How accurate are those measurements? Right. So size is also a bit of a con here. And then parks. Some parks are not equipped or capable of handling trailers that are this tall or as long as ours are. Right. Like now, state parks, we're not going to fit in the majority of the state right. parks. Uh, we're too tall and we're too long. So, you know, we don't even look at staying in those. Um, but we knew that going into purchasing right. this. Now, we know there will be some state parks. Cause every state's different. But based on our history, yes, like in Alaska, we wouldn't have fit in any of the state parks that we ever camped in. No. Uh, corners were too tight. Trees were too low. Sites were too small. Um, so it is a consideration if you're thinking about a fifth wheel. The overall size can also be a con. Right, for sure. Hitches. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a big one. So it is a con with a fifth wheel. It I, is. I, there's just no denying it. I talked about it a little bit earlier with travel trailers, but when you have a fifth wheel, you have this massive hitch, and I don't care which one you get. In the you bed of your pickup. Massive hitch in the bed of your pickup. So during the off season from camping, if you're not full time, you have to do something with that hitch. It either stays in your truck, taking up that space that you have to work around, or you have to take that massive hitch out of the back of your truck and store, and it. store it. So <laughs> the hitch can definitely be a negative. So you definitely want to consider that and you know, keep it in mind that you will be losing some space, but you'll gain some space in other areas. Right. Even if you're a full-time RVer, uh, there's ways that you can use that space, but not as much if you have a tow behind. You know, because we had a lot of stuff in the back of our truck for our tow behind, and with our uh, fifth wheel, we have uh, minimal stuff in the back of our pickup truck now. So we hope that this was valuable to you because it's all about you and the decision that you have to make when it comes to buying a trailer. Whether you're considering an upgrade or whether you're considering a first purchase, we hope you got something valuable out of this video for you because we've owned both. We can talk yep. about both. If you have any questions, you know, of, you know, what this or that or anything, just drop us a comment in below and we will be happy to answer that question for you. Um, and of course, if we don't know the answer, we will find it and make sure that we get that information out to you. Absolutely, because it's not just about you and me. It's about anybody who watches this video. Mm -hmm. When you leave comments, you not only help us, but you help other people who read the comments and watch these videos. Right. So it's information for everybody. Don't forget, give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe. 
and ring that little bell so you could be notified every time we put out new content. You, you can, can also find us on Facebook and Instagram and those links are in our description below.